With the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. And ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king. It had been quite a few weeks since Baby Wombat had been rescued after his accident with the departing trappers. You can have too much of a good thing, I say. And he's had too much of a good thing, that boy of mine. There's things to do, places to be seen, food to be eaten. About time he came home, I think. Hey, what? What? What's going on? Get out of it, you Then a wombat's burrow's supposed to be his castle. Wombat had a plan, a surprise for his son. Indeed, the whole family. He was quite excited about it. But of course, being Wombat, he couldn't possibly let on. That last try was hopeless, Baby Wombat. Try again. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with you, Charlie. Laugh or cry. Sorry, Grandad. Baby Wombat kind of slipped. Looks to me, for a supposedly injured wombat, he was having too much fun. I reckon there's not a lot wrong with him now, Charlie. He's made a good recovery, and we should give him back to the bush. But it's great having him here. He's been fun. Yeah, well, it might be. But you're spending all your time playing instead of doing your chores. And he's getting too used to humans. Not good on either score. Eh? <laughs> well, looks as though the problem might be solved. Right. That's it, sunshine. Nothing wrong with you. Back home. Father, I've missed you so much. Yeah, looks like it. Now, come on. But I'm not really better yet. Don't try that one on me. I seen you playing, and if you can play, you can come home. Oh, please, Father. They've been so kind to me. And, and what about your own mother and sister? <coughs> they aren't exactly cruel, are they? Mum? Oh, well, why, of course not. I just thought of... You just sort of forgot about them, didn't you? Pining away, wondering... If they'd ever see you again. I'm sorry. I missed them too. Right then. Move out. Baby Wombat! Leave him be, Charlie. His father knows what's best. We've done our bit. Yeah. Guess you're right, Grandad. Don't dawdle. Don't dawdle. What's the hurry? Well, if you must know, we're going away. Away? 
on a holiday to visit our cousins up north. Get you away from them humans and me away from all those pesky brumbies and nosy emus. Oh yes, the sun is shining bright and my heart is feeling light. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Hmm. Wombat's got his pesky kid back from the humans. It's a shame they didn't nab the old man as well. Hold it. Oof! I said hold it. Don't you hear nothing? But you said don't dawdle. Don't answer back. Now, pay attention. This log is covered in moss. It's long and slippery. I'll go first, and when I get to the other side, you follow. <laughs> Here's my chance for a bit of fun. <laughs> are awaiting our arrival. <coughs> and we have a considerable distance to travel. So keep close, don't grumble, keep your eyes open for any tucker, and follow me. <coughs> and good riddance to bad rubbish. If I were standing a bit further away, I couldn't see you. I'd think you were just part of the trees. Well, that's the secret, Eurala. If you don't want to be found by a creature who's after you, or if you want to creep up on a creature without being seen, you've got to look for cover that you can blend into. And move silently. <laughs> and move silently. You're learning well. Oh, thanks, Thaura. It's important to learn the tricks of the bush. My father, the mighty Yarraman, was the bravest and strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies. I watched him and learned. And my mother, Belle Belle, was wise and knew the ways of the high country better than any other Brumby I'd known. Gee, I'm lucky having such a good teacher, aren't I? <laughs> I guess you are. But only because I was willing to learn. Oh, so am I. Well, of course you are. But it takes time. Oh, I know, Thaura. But I really want to learn. <coughs> Ow! Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, move it. Out of the way. And another thing that's important to remember, Eurala, is that while there are lots of wombats, <laughs> there's only one wombat. Oh, I heard that. Where are you off to, wombat? North, to get away from the flattery and the useless creatures that spend their whole lives getting in me way. <laughs> Have a good journey, then. Mm, I don't want one. I just want a holiday. Let's find a spot for some camouflage practice. But is it enough, Newt? Uh, enough? Satisfaction, enjoyment, sense of fulfilment. Ah! Oh, you mean life? Our lives? Yes, I think so. You? Yes. Well, maybe. 
Perhaps. Right, contained. Ish. We should do more. Perhaps. We're out of the way. Wombat's coming through. Wombat's coming through. Oh, hello, Wombat. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Small world. Oh, you try to take a shortcut round the cliff face to avoid traffic jams, and you run into two galumphing gossips blocking the way. Out of the way. Get out of the way. I fear that might be difficult. Oh, possibly impossible. Can't even get away on a holiday without someone making life difficult. And nothing's impossible! Oh, but you see, Wombat, emus can't walk backwards. Oh, and there certainly isn't room to turn around. Oh, you're blocking me holiday. Get out of the way. A holiday? How wonderful! Tell us all about it. Can't, shan't and won't. No time for a chat. You two feather brains are supposed to be birds, so start flying. Oh, but we've been through this before. Emus don't fly. Just ask Mopoke. He says we're short of long wings, uh, aerodynamics and other things. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I simply don't believe it. Righto, family. Forward. <laughs> What do you know? <laughs> Emus can't fly. We're on the holiday. We're on the holiday. Very, very, very far, far away. away. Tra -la 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 -la. <laughs> no singing. Oh, Dad. Are we there yet? No, we're not. Now, just be quiet and enjoy the trip. It's very educational. How? It just is, that's all. <laughs> See? Told you. There's a mopoke. What's educational about a mopoke? Quite a lot, as you should know. My knowledge is portfolio. Oh, oh, oh no, not that mopoke. Would you like a little tip? How to make time pass on your trip? Oh, yes, please, Mopoke. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> this is my holiday, Mopoke, not yours. And I'll tell them what to do. With lively eyes, just look around. There's many wonders to be found. Your spirits will soar to magnificent heights as you absorb the wonders of nature's delights. Thanks, my poke. There's too much talking, and talking's not allowed on holidays. Nasty, mean, and often crude. That wombat's now just far too rude. <laughs> hey, what, what, what? Mm. What funny-looking ants? Ants. Ants, did I say? Ah! Wombats. The whole family. What are they doing this far from home? <laughs> My dear friend, as I live and breathe, what brings you and your charming family to this neck of the woods? Friend, you think I don't remember that slippery log? That? Ah, oh, that was all a misunderstanding. I thought I saw a flea on your back and... Flea? The only flea around here is the one you have in your head, flea brain. Naturally, one is interested in the activities of one's friends, and I was simply curious that... <laughs> Revenge! I'll get those wombats back somehow. Huh? Now what have we here? Ah, a strange filly, a newcomer to the high country. Oh, the Brolga will certainly want to know about that. Ah. 
This'd be right. This'd be right. One more ridge after this one and we'll be there. <laughs> Haven't we been here before, Father? Been here before? What are you talking about? You've never visited the cousins before. Yeah, uh, but that pond... Nonsense! Lots of ponds look like that. I... I... Well, well done, Baby Wombat. Well spotted. That's just a little trick of mine to see how observant you all are. Oh, be quiet, you empty-headed egghead. <laughs> right. Follow me. Oh, mighty Bralga. Spicy gossip. Eh? Strangers have entered your territory. Strangers? Who and what? Vicious, cruel wombats, Mercurial Magnificence. A whole family of them. Vicious, cruel... What are you talking about, Karawong? Since when have wombats been vicious and cruel? These are, sire, I assure you. You must crush the living daylights out of them with your mighty hooves. I'm beginning to smell a Karawong. Rat, I mean rat, Karawong. Do you owe them something you don't want to pay back? Oh, 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 oh no, mighty sire. I promise you, they're evil and mean and... <laughs> don't waste my time with your personal vendettas, Karawong. If that's all you've got to say... Uh, but, 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 there, 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 there's the other stranger, sire. Huh? Other stranger? <laughs> a young Brumby, mighty Brolga. Oh, an ideal candidate for your herd. A young Brumby, eh? And you waste my time with rubbish about wombats? Lead the way! Uh, aye, 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 El Capitano. <laughs> Uh-oh. A stranger seems to have come to stay, mainly because she has lost her way. <clears throat> her spirits are looking pretty low. I have a feeling Laura should know. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. Another Brumby, another traffic jam. I'm very sorry, Wombat. I'm very tired and weary, and I didn't expect a family of wombats to come along. Well, well, you should have. I've come such a long way, from the south, and uh, I'm a little lost. So are we. We are not. Is the south a long way? About four days gallop. Four days gallop? Now that is lost. Why don't you go back south and stop bothering us? Can't help you. I don't want to go back south. I'm searching for my lost brother. My father, the great Paleface, is sick, so he sent me to find the wise old kangaroo, Benny, who he was sure would be able to help me. Benny? Oh, we could help her find Benny, couldn't we, Father? No. We're on holidays. We're... I'd be very, very grateful for your help. Oh, go on, Father. She really needs our help. Please. Oh, all right. <coughs> there you go. Taking advantage of me soft heart once again. <coughs> well, we'll help young... young... Gunda. Yes, young Gunda to find Benny. Who needs a holiday anyway? Thank you, Wombat. Thank you very much. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the Brolga. Run for your life. Righto, family. Follow me. Go, mighty Bralga! Go!
must race. The brogue is now in on the chase. <laughs> What's keeping you, Broga? Getting too old for a good chase. This time, Thara, you've gone too far. I am the king of the Cascade Brumbies. I have no time for your impertinence. And I have no time for bluster and bullying of innocent strangers. What? Why, you? <laughs> Smarted yourself this time, Thaura. You're not powerful enough to beat me, and you're never gonna get the chance. It's a long way to the bottom of that cliff. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat, you're a real friend. <laughs> Not that now. You brumbies have spoiled me, Holiday. <laughs> a big welcome home to Wombat, a real hero. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Right, family. Follow me. Bye, Wombat. At least I got to meet you, unlike the legendary Thara. Bye, Wombat. And you're a legend in your own time, too. <laughs> <laughs> so some creatures of the high country had learnt a lesson. Despite Wombat's gruff facade, he was a brave and trusted friend. And the holiday had another good result. Gunda had certainly come to the right place to get help finding her lost brother. <laughs>